And there's a lot of things to watch. We've been away for about three months. And that means there's been a ton of changes. So we're, we're going to try to get you down to the highlights, though. All right. My favorite thing that came out throughout the uh, the, the entire three months was total cookie protection. Mm. Okay. All right. This is uh, a technology that was introduced in February 2021, uh, and it was used only if you went into the settings, into privacy, and you had like balanced and whatever, and you chose strict. If you chose strict, you already had total cookie protection back oh. then. But the difference now is that total cookie protection is just on all of the time. Nice. Just forever. By default. On For the phone, everyone. on the yeah. yes, on the desktop, on Windows, Mac, Linux, all of them. It's there for everyone. Now, what is total cookie protection? Why would I even want something like that? Uh all right. So in the before time, mm -hmm. every cookie from every site was stored in the same cookie jar, let's mm -hmm. say. And any site that you went to sites that were not even related. So you you do some Google searches and you go to Facebook. Well, Facebook can now see Google cookies, right? Yeah. Uh, they could get their weaselly little hands and pull yeah, out just pretty much any cookie they want. in the cookie jar there and right. find the one that's next to theirs. Yep. Firefox caught them. Caught them with the hand in the cookie jar. All right. But So now, at least in Firefox, if a cookie is generated on Facebook.com, it will stay within the Facebook.com cookie jar. You go to another website, whole new cookie jar is created. Cookies that come from that site stay in that cookie jar, and no two cookie jars get to cross. Nice. No cross you the don't streams. Cross the, you don't cross the stream, Stan. You just don't. So this is a win for anybody that cared that you know they were Googling you know, they found they found something and they're like, well, I wonder if I should go to a doctor for this, right? And you <laughs> Google it up. Well, now Facebook knows in the before time. Oh, but yeah. now it's isolated. And I'm not saying that it's, this is like, you know, the number one silver bullet for all privacy matters of all time. Just that now all these other websites can't just come in and, and take all of that stuff. So this is fantastic. This is something that I think is generally just a win for anybody using Firefox. Yeah, I agree. The only other browser, I looked, the only other browser that does this by default, it exists, but by default is Brave. That makes sense, yeah. V Vivaldi, Edge, Safari, they all have it, but you have to go turn it on. Same as with Firefox, right? But now Firefox turned it on by default. Brave already had it as a default. And now Firefox and Brave, they are the ones giving you this type of feature, which is mm -hmm. fantastic. That Good. is fantastic. Just in general. So there's more stuff. Uh, Firefox has been working on way more stuff. And so I thought oh, I'd sure. give you a quick rundown of the stuff that uh, that's like, mm, Linuxy, right? Firefox ninety nine. Uh, they strengthened up the Firefox. Uh, the, the Firefox. Well, I guess so, right? They strengthened up the sandbox, um, which prevents processes uh, from accessing the web content process. If you ever look in like the process list when you're running Firefox, mm -hmm. there's like Firefox, and then there's like web, 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 oh, web, yeah. web mm -hmm. right? So if uh, if you had access to that, you could then access the X session behind it. Ooh, which yuck. is not good, yeah, right? So put a stop to that in Firefox 99, which was like a couple of days after we released an episode uh, because that would have been in a Mozilla watch. It would totally yeah, well, Absolutely. In. We totally would have covered that. Now it's in this one. Yep. Then uh, better mic support in uh, Firefox 101. So this is, if you go, I, I hear a lot of people talk about how bad Firefox is using like web RTC and mm. web this and that, whatever, when they're joining and microphones and this and that. Try, try it now. Try it after version 101. If you're on ESR, I don't think you get this. Oh, but, but wait, if you're, wait, I got some news on that, Leo. Hang ooh, on to the later. Coming lady. up. Yeah. Coming up. Uh, so 101 gives you, like, you can swap your mics. You can change them in the middle of a stream, and it, and it won't explode the whole Firefox. I don't, I don't know what actually happens. I don't actually use any of that. But I hear a lot of complaints about it. So, hey, maybe now is the time to give it one more shot. Mm. 
So then Firefox 102. Dan, you did some digging on the most recent version of Firefox, which released a couple days prior to us recording this. So yeah, this is fresh. This, this week. Fresh. Um, yeah. So going to now support GeoClue, which is a DBus service that provides geolocation services when needed by certain websites. And <laughs> you're asking, why in the world would websites want my geolocation? Well, the answer is some video services need to analyze your location to determine eligibility, right? We've all seen those. I mean, Netflix does it a little bit, but like if you're watching some of like your local channels and stuff, they they want to know your your location mm -hmm. to make sure that you're eligible to watch that. And I, I guess that's fair um, somewhat, right? So, VPN. Uh, that's an option. Um, but, <laughs> you know, um, this is going to be improved it hasn't always worked the best in the past because the the Firefox location service, in my opinion, um, has had some issues where it couldn't tell my location. And so, therefore, I'm looking at a screen that says, you know, you're not eligible to watch that. Sorry. Put, put it this way. Windows had it. Mac had it. Yeah. Linux finally gets it. Exactly. We're good. So um, I think this is a welcome upgrade uh, for the things that need it. And... You know, if you really wanted to and paranoid, you can turn it off. So, I mean, there's that of option course. too. Yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. The other thing is improved picture in picture um, features that, that allows support for subtitles and captions, improved subtitles and captions in, you know, videos. Something about modern cinema and TV, there's like crazy loud stuff. And then as soon as you got two people in a quiet room talking, you can't you can't even hear it. You don't even know what they're saying. I just see the lips moving. I'm like, time for the captions. Time for me to not blow out my speakers in mm -hmm. about 30 seconds. I want to. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, if you bump into a scene that's uh, got some subtitles like, you know, translation subtitles and stuff, this yep. is now improved in the picture in picture. So uh, mm. th this is good. This is good. Good. Stuff. Welcome improvement as well. Um, also improved is uh, PDF reading in high contrast mode, which, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you turn on the reader mode there and uh, start reading your PDFs. It's actually kind of comfortable compared to... I do to... love reader mode, like mm -hmm. in any app. I don't care what it is. Just give me a reader mode. I love that. I, I think that's really good stuff. So uh, lastly, the ability to disable automatically opening the download panel Every time a new download starts. So it's now, fine. Now I you can guess. turn that off and it won't just keep running out there and telling you you're downloading something. Yeah, I knew that. I, I clicked. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have to go dig deep in the settings. Just right click on the little download thing and tell it, nah, stop. Yeah. But I don't know why. I, I, like, I, I really enjoy it. Like anytime a new download comes up, the little pop out pop down thing comes down mm -hmm. i hate it in all the chromiums because it's like a whole taskbar thing on the bottom i'm like stop uh, yeah. doing that yeah that's that's that, true that can stop that i want to stop but the little it's like a little chat bubble and it's like hey man downloading that thing you told me to download it could I'm get like, your cool. way though too i mean it is at the top and it could stretch down into true. the page a little bit especially if you've got true. a couple of them going because they it, it can get long um yeah yeah, when no, you got a bunch yeah I'm, of them. I'm 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 of the camp of firefox looks at me and is like cool and i'm like cool and we're like cool that's cool <laughs> <laughs> cool but you know so i mean it's there now you can disable it before you couldn't easy so, it's cool so there, there's one more feature that I have to add to this one. Uh, well, there's there's two more. There's but there's one that that they buried the lead, man. They did. Um, if you dig into the actual um, uh, the release notes of this thing, they have it, it. It says Firefox now mitigates query parameter tracking when navigating sites in ETP strict mode. What does that even mean? What what? No. Okay, so here's what it actually means. Here's okay. why you should care. It strips out the Facebook tracking information out of the URL when you turn on strict mode. Okay, mm -hmm. what 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 is that? So when you have like a link that has like a Facebook ID on it, mm -hmm. it's like the link question mark mm -hmm. F B K I D equals, and you like you could just like strip all that. Out. I do it all the time on Amazon links. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a, like it tells oh, you like man, well, he those, searched those for it or gross. he came from a yeah I know I hate him and and or he came from a website or whatever it strips it off automatically I don't nice. have to do any work anymore oh I love this they're not doing themselves any favors 
by writing it that way. <laughs> no. But but I'm here to tell you what it is and, and why you great. want it and mm. why it's cool. I agree. Oh, and hey, you remember that thing that I told you? Uh, I was again? waiting for it. I was waiting for <laughs> Here it. Here it is, Leo. So the, this new Firefox 102 will become the new ESR release. Ooh, ooh, so ooh, all those with things, all those features, yeah, all those things are going to be in here. So that'll be really good. Yeah, I mean, you know, ESR it'll wear off on you af after a while, but it'll be good for a little while. So that's that's nice. Well, that's what you get in Debian, right? So all of you, yeah. you. <laughs> so like, wait. So like, the Grateful Dead has dead heads. Mm -hmm. Does Debian get Deb heads? I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay. You know what? Just for today only, I'm going to call you Deb heads. So for all you Deb heads, right. you'll you'll get it. You'll you'll get 102, and you'll have all these cool features, and hopefully you'll be happy. Yeah, happier anyway. Hey. So one last thing. It's not Fire. It's not Mozilla. It's not Fire. I know. I know. But it's Brave. We talked about them just a little while ago. They too. did one thing over the break that I'm over the moon about. Deamp. So I, I need Firefox to adopt this. It's a good idea in general. So AMP are accelerated mobile pages, I think is what it stands for. Basically, this is Google taking a website, downloading it, and caching it on Google servers. So when you mm. go to that website, you're going to a Google property, not to the website you thought you were going to, mm. which is, in my opinion, bad. Mm. In um, As far as privacy goes, bad. Because yeah, no kidding. Google has inserted themselves in a conversation that they weren't privy to in the first place, but now they have all kinds of analytics and they've shoved in a bunch of cookies. And see, total cookie protection is not going to stop you when you go to Google themselves <laughs> yeah. looking for something they else. They got their own cookie right? in there. <laughs> yeah, of course, because the whole thing starts with Google in the first place, man. Yeah. So deamp, just taking Google out of a conversation they were never supposed to be part of in the first place, at least from a user perspective, right? Like the the website has to enable that right. uh, for caching and speed purposes and stuff. And and, and not, I'm not saying it's not faster, mm -hmm. but I would rather wait an extra 0.8 seconds. I'll never notice. To, to, yeah, to not have Google forcing themselves into the in the yeah if i blink I a couple extra like times it. i'm i'm through it so whatever yeah it, exactly i mean i just if it's taken forever i just stare up at the ceiling for a second by the time i look at my phone again it's already there yeah so it's already there. yeah i space out enough for that unless so. i'm in the boonies in which case it's just not loading so no mm. caching is going to stop that <laughs> that's true that's true <laughs>